energy bills mortgaging your future? John and Liz are rural homeowners who are investigating if there is a less expensive option for heating their home. A more efficient furnace? Or perhaps switching to a different heating fuel altogether? They want to know how to estimate how much of the new fuel would be required so they can make an accurate cost comparison. Comparing different heating fuels such as propane, heating oil, natural gas, and wood is not easy because they all have different energy contents and are sold in different units. A gallon of heating oil is not equal to a thermonatural gas. You also need to consider the appliance efficiency. A more efficient appliance can make a significant difference in the amount of fuel you'll burn in a season. In this video, we'll use John and Liz's question as a starting point to show what information is needed and step through the calculations to figure out whether they should replace their oil furnace or make the switch to wood while keeping the oil furnace as a backup. Let's start with what information is needed to make the comparison. First, we need to determine the amount of fuel being used in an average year. The amount of fuel historically used can be obtained from invoices or your supplier. In our example, John and Liz are using 1,225 gallons of heating oil per year on average. Next, we need the efficiency of the current appliance. The efficiency of a furnace or boiler is not 100%. Some of the heat is lost and goes up the flue. Efficiency is a ratio of the energy that goes into the heating appliance versus the amount of energy that is transferred to, to the heated area. The value is between 0 and 100%. A higher value indicates more heat is transferred to the heated space and is more efficient. Efficiency values can be calculated from the information on the heating appliance nameplate. On John and Liz's furnace nameplate, the input is 126,000 BTUs per hour. This label does not list the output, so we'll have to go to the product literature to find it. Looking at the furnace manual, the output is listed at as 101,000 BTUs per hour. So based on this, we can calculate the efficiency to be 80%. Next, we need the unit cost and energy content of the current heating fuel. John and Liz's current energy cost is $2.56 per gallon. The energy content of fuels can sometimes be found on your energy bills, or you can look them up. From the table, you see that number two heating oil is 139,600 BTUs per gallon. Next, we need information on the alternative heating appliance. Living in a rural setting, John and Liz have access to propane, cordwood, wood pellets, and heating oil, but not natural gas. They would like to know more about the cost of using cordwood. We need the thermal efficiency of the outdoor wood boiler that they are considering. Based on information at the BurnWise website for the make and model they are considering, it has an efficiency of 79%. Mixed hardwood in their area can be purchased in bulk for $200 per cord and typically has an energy content of 22 million BTUs per cord. Now that we've gathered the information needed, let's step through a few calculations. The first step is to calculate the usable energy or the heat that gets transferred into the building. The equation is usable energy in BTUs equals the units of energy used times the energy content per unit in BTUs per unit times the appliance efficiency. For our example, John and Liz need about 128 million BTUs of usable energy to heat their home. In step two, we'll calculate the quantity of the alternative fuel needed using the usable energy just calculated. The units of alternative fuel equal the usable energy divided by the product of the energy content of the alternative fuel per unit in BTUs per unit times the appliance efficiency. Using our example, John and Liz would need 7.4 cords of wood to replace the oil. In step three, we will calculate the fuel cost. The total cost is the amount used times the unit cost. The cordwood annual cost is $1,480 per year, and the heating oil cost is $3,636 per year. The savings is the difference between the current heating cost and the alternative fuel cost. For our example, the savings is $1,600.56 per year. There are other costs that should be deducted, such as daily labor and maintenance required to operate a cordwood boiler. Things like stoking, ash removal, uh, which will reduce the savings. For this example, we're going to assume 15 minutes per day 
for 130 days at $15 an hour for labor for a total cost of $488. This reduces my savings to $1,168 per year. The savings will be used to pay for the installation cost of a boiler or furnace to combust the alternative fuel. If the investment cost is divided by the savings per year, it equals the number of years to recover the purchase cost of a new boiler without taking into account annual maintenance or repair costs. This is called simple payback and is a good back of the envelope calculation to see if an investment is worth pursuing. If the simple payback is more than the expected appliance life, then it is not a wise investment. If the payback is less than the expected appliance life, it might be a good investment. Dividing the investment cost by the savings per year equals 11.1 .1 years and 7.9 years if the labor costs are not included. Boilers typically have a life of 15 to 20 years. The boiler investment should be recovered before the boiler needs to be replaced. John and Liz may want to repeat this analysis for other fuel options to determine if there is one with a shorter payback. For more information, visit learningstore.extension.wisc.edu and search for Compare Heating Fuels.